Okay, hello everyone. I just like to take you through my wall. I was very inspired by a guy called Ty Lopez. He talks about reading more, absorbing knowledge from people in the past, and actually learning from everything they've written. Because, one, you probably cannot reach those people. One, either because they're dead or they're just super busy. So he recommends reading, absorbing the knowledge they've actually produced, okay? Now, the, the structure he uses is basically very simple. He goes, in a lifetime, all you need to read is 150 books. Now, it doesn't sound like much. Most people live to about 100 years old, which, which is like just over 1.5 book a year, right? But, but... We want to speed that process up because the faster we acquire knowledge, the more and the better chances of us actually reaching our goals, our dreams, our desires. So, here we go. I'm going to walk you through, okay, and I'll just talk along. Like he says, read 150 books. Now, the structure here is if you read one per week, you should be able to complete this in three years. Read one per month, that's 12.5 years. Mm. Now that's very long actually. And if you read one per two months, that's going to be 25 years. Now you've got to ask yourself, how soon do you want to reach your goal? Three years sound good? 12.5 years sound good? Or 25 years sounds good. Personally, I don't know about you, but in this age where things are fast, I really don't want to wait three years. So, one book per week, okay? We can easily, easily half that number by reading two books per week. That seems impossible, right? Well, let me break it down. Let me give you a quick quote, actually, by Be um, Jeff Bezos. He basically says, Innovate your way out of a problem. You don't have three years. We don't have three years to waste on discovering this dream that we want is going to come. So, one book per week is too long. Let's have that. Two books per week. That will give us 1.5 years. Three books... That will give us like nine months or something ridiculous like that, okay? So, three books per week. Ridiculous? Yes. Outrageous? Yes. Impossible? No. You can do it. Now, this is the structure Ty says, okay? To read three books a day, okay? To reduce this number, because three years is just too long. Three books a day, which is chapter... That will help you, okay? Take notes and highlights, watch your time, and read the table of contents plus intro first. So, three books a day. Now, this is a little tip. Nobody said you have to read the whole book. Your goal is to only get the nuggets from the books. Each book has one or two key nuggets that you are trying to get. Your goal is to find where it is. You don't have to read the whole book to get it. I mean, if you had more time, yes. But think about it. If you're reading one book a week, a whole book a week, which is pretty good, it's possible, it's going to take you a long time. Whereas if you just find the key, key points... You're going to speed this time up. In fact, you could be reading four, five, six books a week. Because all you need is the key point. Most of the time, most books are filled with extras, fillers, okay? Fillers that are there so the publishers can sell the book. I mean, there are only a handful of books that have like 10 pages. For example, um, Peter Drucker. Managing oneself. So if you look over here, like this one, this one is a very, very simple read. It's only got like 50 pages or less worth of reading content, except for the extras, right? So that's one of the books I'm, I've actually read. I've gone through this one. I've got the key point from it. 
and I, I'm working my way through some of these. Now, going back, how do you read three books in one week? Basically, like I said, you want to read through the content, okay? This is key. First of all, you read the content, then you flip to the back and read the section at the back, the summary, okay? Read about the author, because then your brain is going to associate that with how useful the knowledge is. Because you don't want to listen to everyone. You want to listen to the credentials of those who have done what you are interested about and people who will and is going to inspire you. So, one more time. You want to read through the chapters, take notes, highlight, use the book. Write in the back of the book, okay, useful notes. Time yourself because you want to get faster. And that's it. So remember, innovate your way out of a problem. Jeff Bezos. Now, of course, this is not my quote. You want to listen to this guy. He's the founder of Amazon, one of the largest, largest companies in the world. He owns Amazon, and you know Amazon. I don't even need to tell you about Amazon. People in like the remote parts of the Serengeti or whatever probably have even heard of Amazon. It's supposed to be growing to be the first trillion dollar company. So I'll listen to this guy. Innovate your way out of a problem. So this is the basic structure, okay? Um, I wrote mine down, just 10 minutes um, in the morning, afternoon and night, so before bed. Um, Ty suggests focusing on books within your field, okay, in the afternoon, okay? In the morning, you want to read some classic books, books that have withstood the time, the, how would you say, have withstood time, yeah. And lastly, you want to look at biography, for example, Arnold Schwarzenegger's um, Total Recall, or this other book, If I Stop Speaking, Then You Know I'm Dead, by uh, the, I think, manager of Elvis Presley. Um, other books that are bi um, biography books, for example, Hilton's book. This book is a classic, Will Durant, okay, The Greatest Minds of History. Another one, Lessons of History, it's a good one, actually. Um, I'm into business, I really like this one, this is useful, Zero to One by Peter Thiel. I am, I've got Jeff Bezos' book, which is kind of interesting, I'm still reading through it. Social, because I organize events, I love this book, okay, anything with social in it, I'm buying it. And that's it for now. Thank you very much for your time, I hope you found that very, very useful. Take care and Godspeed with your reading. Bye for now.